I grew up in Sandusky, Ohio. Long time family roots there, and we left when I was 13 to move to Poway, California. I know, isn't that amazing? Look at that with Con Agra. That's such a great plant. Hello, car. I see you. But I love the piles of coal. the kind of wandering I'm doing today is like looking at that kind of fine art Americana image. Juxtaposition, signage is always good. Like seeing the leprechaun <laughs> with the fish fry sign. Um, but yeah. Sometimes I'll see a group of kids that I'll ask if I can do a portrait of them, but Rarely. Okay, ready? Okay, now a regular portrait, okay? Just standing there, like that. Yeah, that's good. Right here, right here with me. You want your portrait? Come here. Okay, ready, another one? When you're a kid, you're outside all day, and I would just lay for hours in the cornfield looking up at the sky and spend a lot of time by myself. All right, where do you guys live? East Market? I live on East Washington. Okay. It's curious that I end up spending so much time by myself now photographing as well because it's very similar to how I was when I was a kid was there was a lot of alone time. There was a lot of hanging out with friends but also I was one of those kids that liked to wander off by myself. So the myth is there's a silver dollar in the cornerstone. It's the only thing like really left of my, my grandfather and my dad's company. They built it for them? Yeah. Going back to Sandusky has been really interesting because I've been allowed to find this place of joy again where it was really hard for me to be as a kid. Literally, I used the landscape to change my emotional state. And I think that that kind of comes up for me in relationship to often how I photograph a place. My father, besides doing Opie Craft, he had the largest political campaign collection in American history, which is all in the Smithsonian now. We had this very rare FDR cast iron bank where you'd put a penny in the hand and it would go into his lap. I could be a, a Daughters of the American Revolution. I could send my paperwork in if I want to. We're very patriotic, my family. So I grew up with all this American memorabilia around me as a kid hanging in our house. And I think that prevails through my work. I mean, it, that's why it was so odd when the Guggenheim named me Catherine Opie American photographer. It was just like, okay, I guess I'm like, I might as well just accept this, that this is part of, you know, basically what I was taught throughout my childhood was like how important it is being an American. Thank you.